Let's start by creating a modal for our blank app. So we're going to use the Ionic Generate command to generate a new page called Add. And it'll generate the HTML, SCSS, and TypeScript files. We're going to copy the style sheet and put that in with our other style sheets imported under our theme directory in app.core. Now we can see under pages we now have an add and a home. Add has our generated files there. And now let's add the button that shows our modal to our home page. We use the ion buttons component with the start attribute from the Ionic framework. And we'll create a new button here and give it a click event handler that will present the modal. We'll call it add weather. And call it add. Let's run Ionic Serve to see what that looks like. And we see our Add button. Now let's implement that Add Weather click event on the button. I'm just going to get rid of this instance variable because those are automatically created with our constructor in Angular 2. So I'm going to create a new variable, a block variable, using let. And I've imported modal from Ionic Angular, which will allow me to create a new modal and calling create and pass in the page I want to create with the modal. So I'm going to need to import that page. Notice that dependency injection uses this new format which is a little bit different from Angular 1. Now using our nav controller, we have this present command, which will show our modal. Now let's customize the look of our add page modal. First, let's give it a title. Uh, instead of just add, we'll call it add weather. And then we'll add in a button just like before. This time the button will close the modal. So we'll give it the end attribute so it'll be on the opposite side as the start one that we used to open it. And give it the click event handler to dismiss the modal. and give the button name an icon this time to indicate that it will close. So now let's go in and implement this modal close. So to do this we need the view controller, not the nav controller. So I'm just going to replace the nav controller with the view controller. Give it an instance name of view. And that way we'll have this dot view, an instance of the view controller, and be able to call the dismiss method on that, which will close our modal. Now let's go back to the add page modal HTML and finish out the page content. So the user needs to be able to enter a city and a country in order to know where to get the weather from. So we'll create an Ionic item inside of an Ionic list with an input for the city and for the country. We use a stacked label which will be small text above an input And we'll use the ion select to give the user the option to select which country they want. 
we'll just enter a couple countries here for this example. And we can always add more later. And finally, we'll add a button surrounded by some padding for the user to finish their add weather functionality. So we have Ionic Serve running in the background, so we should be able to just jump over, click around, see that the modal does dismiss when we click the buttons. But now we need a way to get this data, the city and country, from the modal back into our home page, which presented the modal. To do this, we're going to use two-day data binding. So I'm going to create this instance data variable, which will be accessible in the HTML. And using this new syntax of ng model with parentheses followed by brackets, this variable will be updated in our controller. And then we can just pass that variable, data, to our dismiss function when the user adds weather. So we get that form data and we'll just pass it through the view controller which will be accessible from our modal in our home page using the on dismiss function. We see from the code completion that it takes a callback function. We use an arrow function to preserve the this in the outer context. And let's create a instance variable that will store the list of weather cities that we want to show on our home page. So we'll just use this instance variable and add the data that returns from our add page modal. And then just to show that worked, we'll show the contents of that variable in its raw form in our home page. There it is.